Vegetate presents. Welcome to my garden. Today, welcome to Vegetate. I've got Aiden and Zoe, and they're going to brush your plants. Is that correct, sir? Yes. yes. And how, show me how you how you think, since I haven't showed you yet, how to brush your plants and why it's beneficial to your plants. Okay. Go ahead and turn it off now. Tell me why. You, tell me why you think that is important. Stop. Do you think it's going to make the plants be healthier or what? Make it be healthier. What do you think, Zoe? Um, to make them like clean and they're like the earth, um, like the use the plants. So the caterpillars are actually. Like so when the water's on it, it's going to be cleaning the water off, like sp splashing on their plants and go again, and it splash on another plants and again, do you're done. This is a good thing that because you can the loose the dirt, like loosen it, loosen it because it's shaky. Mm. What if I tell y'all you're both wrong? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what if I said you're wrong? No. Let me show you how to properly brush your plants and how to get optimal fruit production. Okay? Alright. Okay, today I want to show you how to brush your plants and how to get optimal fruit production off your blossoms in your garden. The kids showed you, I haven't shown them yet how to properly do it, but this is how I do it in my garden to get uh, peppers and tomato plants to grow without self pollinators like bees and uh, mason bees and things like that. So, what I do is I take an old toothbrush like this. It's pretty old, it's used for many years, and it makes a kind of loud noise, but it vibrates. And what you do is you take a plant, find a bloom on your pepper plants, turn it on. Can you see that, Aiden? Yeah. Take it and you put it on there just like this. Yeah. And what that does is it makes it vibrates the pollen loose and makes the pollen fall down on the tomato plant or the pepper plant. See? See how it vibrates it just like a bee does. This is what you call pollinating your uh, plant. And you do it to all your different flowers. If you want to do this on a warmer day, and you want to kind of push it down a little bit and bend it down at a 40, 45 degree angle. Now, you do this every day until you see that there's a small plant or small piece of fruit growing on your plant. I do it out here. I'm out here every day looking for bugs and kind of piddling in the garden. So I just take my little toothbrush and all the little blossoms I self pollinate. You can only usually do it on though on your peppers and your tomatoes because they both have the male and female parts on the on the blossom. They have the stigma and the ah I forgot the names of them. So they have both the female and the male parts. I think it's, I can't think of the name right now. Down. And you want to bend it down. There you go, just like that. So it kind of vibrates it. There's a good on this one right here. Okay. It's a great activity for the kids to do. It's really simple, they can't mess it up, and it helps, of course, pollinate your plants. And it helps you get a lot more. So healthy plants, you use a toothbrush, and you get a lot more uh, produce out of your garden. Now there's other methods you can use all across the internet. I prefer this method because it's just easiest. You can sacrifice one of your tomato plants and, and just dab it on the uh, other blossoms. I don't prefer to do that because it again it, it sacrifices one of the blossoms that you could possibly get a tomato from. Today we learned that you can use the old toothbrush and that vibrates and on on blossoms of peppers and tomatoes and that that they vibrate and that and then you have to keep on doing it every day until until they until they go a little a little sprout on um, little tomato sprout. Awesome. As are you? Um, I learned that you can clean um, plants because the earth um, needs to uh, 
um, be clean because the plants need to be healthy so you can eat them. Oh, okay. Well, I think we're going to go with that Aiden's answer. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Aiden was right. We might use a electric toothbrush to vibrate the pollen inside of your pepper and tomato plants to help pollinate them without the use of bees. And so you can produce, help produce more pr produce and they have a bumper crop with an electric toothbrush.